Hello everyone, welcome to Bookworm Theater. <laughs> and today I will be reading The Taking Tree. And in case you're wondering, no, we will not be reading anything, any important pieces of literature, but we will be just reading random funny books. And to avoid major copyright issues, I'm going to do, I must, I will be announcing I'm saying a huge, 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 huge byline, as you might call it, for the book. So, title, Taking Tree, a Selfish Parody. It's by Shrill Travis Travesty, and illustrated by Lucy Ruth Cummis. Now, let's see if we can find a publisher. And guarantee... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> um, and it's... um. Simon and Schulster books for young readers, so let's just jump right into the book. Okay. Once there was a kid who spent every day under a tree. The tree was his best friend, which shows what a loser the kid was. The kid used to take twigs from the tree and poke his sister with them, and he took acorns from the tree to whip at old people. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> and he carved things in the tree that he almost instantly <laughs> regretted. The tree has a carving that says McCain Palin 08. The kid was a real <laughs> jerk. <laughs> the tree just hated the kid, but he couldn't get away from him. And she was a tree. This is where her roots were. <laughs> One day, the kid took leaves from the tree and started small fires with them. And one not so small fire. And the kid went away for a very long time. And the tree was happy. In case you didn't know, he. In case you don't. can't figure it out, he is going to jail for his not so small fire. <laughs> and so her friends, a pine. So her. So were. So were. And so were her friends. A pine told her, Girlfriend, that kid is a dog. There's nothing trees hate more than dogs. Many years later, the kid came back, but he was not a kid anymore. He was a teenager, meaning he was an even bigger jerk. Erk. Erk. He told the tree, I want to go away to college, but I have no money to pay for it. Will you give me your apples? The tree said, I'm an oak tree. I can't grow apples. Why? When have you ever seen me grow apples? And the kid whined, Come on, I thought you were my friend. There's an apple tree right over there, said the tree. Quit stalling, said the kid. Is there even a college that takes apples as a tuition, asked the tree. Just do it, said the kid. And so, and to shut the kid up, the tree actually managed to grow apples. It was not easy. <laughs> easy. When she was done, the kid said, You can keep your apples. I just got a scholarship. Oh, man, says the tree. And the boy went away from a very long time, and the tree was happy. Until he came back. Now he was no longer a kid. He was a very successful businessman, which often happens when little jerks grow up. <laughs> and the kid said, I would like to take your branches and build a beautiful home right here in the forest. And the tree said, gosh, I really need my branches. There's a big pile of bricks over there er, that you can use. The kid didn't even listen. He was already snapping off her branches, and he built a little house right next to her. Ah, oh, nuts, said the tree. The next day, the house burned down, and the tree was very happy. Until she found out the kid survived the fire. In fact, he, sure, he insured the little house for $5 million for what for some reason. And the kid came to the tree with two suitcases bulging with money and said, I need to get out of here. I'm kind of in a hurry. Can I cut you down and carve your trunk into a canoe? And the tree says to the kid that she had known for so long, Are you out of your mind? You took my branches. You took my twigs. You took my acorns. You took my leaves. You even took my apples, wherever those came from. You took everything you could take, and I can't take it anymore. And the tree, the kid, the tree, and then the tree took the kid's hat, threw it in the river, and she took the kid's credit card and ordered a bunch of DVDs she had no intention, no intention of watching. 
and she took the kid's cell phone and called the cops. <laughs> How do you like them apples? asked the tree. And the kid went away for a very, very, very long time. And the tree was really, really happy. <laughs> One day, the kid came back, but he was not a kid anymore. He was an old man and said, When I got out of jail, I could not get my old job back. And the tree said, Oh, boo-hoo, I'm a weeping willow. I am no longer a businessman. Now I am a lumberman. And the kid took out a big chainsaw. The tree began to sweat, which no tree has ever done before or since. Hey, remember the fun we used to have back in? And the kid could not hear the rest. The chainsaw made too much noise, and he I mean, cut completely through her trunk. The tree fell on him. Now the kid sp spends every day under the tree. I have no idea if the tree is happy about this or not. And that is the end. Oh, the trunk of this tree, he was made into paper. They printed a book on it. You just read it. Well, that was The Taking Tree by a shill travis travesty. And um, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Father's Day weekend, and I'll see you next time.